the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. We just had a great Bible study. I mean, I'm talking about the fact is that I, I did a little preliminary session uh, on Saturday. Was talking about the fact is, talking about the affirmative action plan, right? And we talked about the fact is that the Supreme Court said then said, we're gonna just, we just gutted affirmative action because we are a colorblind nation. And you know what? God says that we are all one body. You know, so our body is it's not not talking about the spiritual body that we're all a part of. Is 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 also supposed to be colorblind, right? And also supposed to recognize the importance of every piece of the body. That if one part of the body hurts, and all the parts of the body hurts, and if one part of the body rejoices, and all the parts of the body rejoices, and it'd be great for us to get there to to that point where we all operate as one. We all see things not based on the color of our skin, but the content of our character, and that we don't base our content of our character based on the images or narrative that other people try to put on us as individuals or as a collective group. We're not all racist, we're not all uh, bad or murderous or all that, no, no. We, 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 we special us supposed to be the part of the body of Christ, we operate in love, not in hate. So we, you know, so we covered a lot of the scriptures today, and and uh, we one of the things we covered. First of all, let's make sure I give you the uh, title that we had. Let me see if I can get that up for you. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't get that up. Let me see. Let me bring it up to the scripture all the way up, and then I'll show it to you. The title uh, that we had is this right here. And it said that, and you see the title when you actually pull up the, the slide, but it said, God is our chief affirmative action planner for eternal life. I made it too heavy because I did one on Saturday. And, and obviously the, what I did on Saturday is different from what I did today. But the bottom line is three, John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only God's son to whosoever. See, whosoever is not based on the color of your skin, not based on you not based on anything except for you believing. You know what I mean? And maybe we get to the point on society that we recognize people as whosoever in any endeavor that they try to achieve. And then we don't sit there and try to sit there and hold somebody back or, or create, you know, like system, uh, systematic racism or anything else. We're going to sit there and say is that all of us need to look at one of us as one body. You know, just like one nation under God. Right? And so therefore we, we that's what we talked about. It's the subject for the day. And I and I it really brought home the fact is the importance of loving one another. And one of the pieces of the scripture that I like, the, we talked about the uh first Corinthians. Let me show you this real quick. First Corinthians chapter uh twelve, starting in verse twelve. You can see the topic it says body with many members and you know I, I just started with just that read one verse because I just did this introduction is for as the body is one it has many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is Christ we're all those of us that believe and I'm just talking about us as believers and the fact that the importance of us as believers is now the time to let our light shine and show people the love of God. You know, one of the things about that scripture and another scripture we're reading, we're talking about in 1 John chapter 3, and the fact is in the beginning, God wanted us to love one another. And he said, not as that wicked Cain who did the harmful things to his brother Abel, who was a righteous person, and righteous means right standing with God. And all of you that receive right, you're in the right standing with God. But if you have hated you, you have no eternal life abiding in you. And that's what we want to be able to talk about. 
did one of the things about the affirmative action plan, one of the things that Judge Thomas was talking about, the fact is that people sit there and say, you didn't belong here because you're a quota. But obviously, just some people thought you didn't belong here, period. And that's what the affirmative action was, to open those doors where people would say, you don't belong, you do belong. And if we have to create laws or affirmative action to open those doors, then go through those doors. But now, if we say, based on the Supreme Court, that the doors are open, and a person belongs there because of their talent, because of their education, because I don't think you probably know about it, but a lot of schools, based on the school you came from, a lot of the people that was in the front action plan, whether in the visual school, whether in the HBCU school, or whether in Harvard or Yale, they, they're, most of them are gifted, talented people get into MIT and into those schools. And the only difference are the people who don't have the gifts and may not have the education or the talent are those who are from the legacy. Meaning if you went to that school, then you your child has the right to go to that school. So therefore they may not have be a high achiever, but they were a legacy. So what we want to do is make sure that we as a body of Christ encourage and edify one another and do the right thing. So I hope you enjoy this video. We're obviously gonna break it down to part A, B, C, D, whatever it needs to do to complete it. And just listen to the fact is that God has a affirmative action plan for eternal life, meaning whether you are an African American, whether you are European American, whether you're an Asian American, whether you are Chinese American, whether you are Jew or Gentile, God has an affirmative action plan that when you get to heaven, ain't nobody gonna say you don't belong there. Nobody gonna sit there and say you are poor. Everybody gonna sit there and say that it plays God for you and for me to be here then praise God. Amen. So I hope you enjoy the study, and I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye-bye. Right? Because <laughs> man, man was in trouble, right? And, yeah. and, and Christ is the implementation of the affirmative action plan for us to be to come back in the face of God. The love of one another. Well, go ahead. You can do it, brother. Well, you, I mean, you know. to, 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 to really get deep in this, when, when it starts uh, 311, for this is the message that she heard from the beginning. Mm. From the beginning, <laughs> that we should love one another. Yeah. And then what's crazy is he says, don't love as Cain loved. He said, and they just like referring to the beginning of the beginning, right? The book yeah. of the beginning, right? <laughs> yeah. So Cain's love was not a love of his brother mm -mm. it was love of something that was wicked yeah so because he did not love his brother yes that's why that's the contrast in here don't love like Cain mm. who slew his brother you know and 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 to, 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 to destroy someone's physical life mm. is a work of evil. Now, whether you do it to where it is a permanent destruction or a momentary destruction, mm -hmm. it is evil. It's like I said, it, <laughs> to hate somebody. He said it too. Is it is demonic. Yeah, and in this case, can't, what did Abel do? There's no indication of anything that Abel did that warranted yeah. this action. He slew his brother. You know what? Yeah. There is an indication. The indication okay. is he found favor with God. Mm. Mm. That's what what Abel did. He did the will of God. He did. He did. His stuff was accepted. His offering was accepted. Yeah. Yeah. He did the will of God. 
And he told, and God told Cain, if you do well, will you not be accepted? Yeah. He didn't say you need to be extraordinary, did he? Yeah. He didn't say you just need to do well. You, you, you don't have to take, take my will and then go beyond that. Just do my will. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, and, I, and I see this other part is like you said on the, in 12 he said not as Cain who was that wicked one yeah. and slew his brother and wherefore slew he him because his own works Word. were evil and his brother righteous right. and, 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 and just it, it took me back just the two one and two you go mm -hmm. for you know from the beginning, one. yeah. In the, fr from the beginning, you are to love one another. That's all there was for you to do. <laughs> That's all you had to do. Love one another, and then it goes right into not as Cain. No, <laughs> he did, didn't it? It did. He he said, people, if y'all think about from from the Old Testament saints, you want to be Old Testament saints. The beginning was talking about love one another. And all Christ did was look. Christ didn't give a new commandment, did he? He no, just he said, <laughs> he just said, I'm really restating the beginning. Yeah. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. Yeah. But it you just, know, what made it new was because it was a new dispensation. I like that. There you go. There That's you what go. made it new because this dispensation starts here. Wow. So this is new. Ooh. which he was before the beginning he was before the beginning but you know what you we, we have to do agree with this though he was he was disconnected yeah because the fall of man right yeah there was a disconnect spiritual disconnect what i'm talking about but at the same time though they had an, an interaction with god by him talking to them yeah. right yeah they were just spiritually they were supposed to die that's, this is the thing. God's kingdom had come. Yes. And his will was being done mm. on earth as it is in heaven. Mm. He was fulfillment of that. Yeshua was the fulfillment of those words. Yes. And that's why he gave the new command. He demonstrated the pattern. Mm. And so... This, this, this uh, was something that I had never seen before. You heard this from the beginning. <laughs> Woo. That we should love one another. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Christ just restated it. And then in the beginning of this dispensation, he said, a new commandment I give you. I give to you. Which was the commandment from the beginning. From the beginning. Nothing's changed. There's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. That we should love one another. And 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 then it goes on in 13. Marvel not, my brother, if the world hates you. That's going right back to what I said. You know that the world yeah, the Luke, I hate you. The Luke one, yeah, Luke yeah. 6, chapter 6, yeah. yeah. This is not Marvel not. This, this is, if, if you and me, then this is your, your, your lot. Mm. Because the world cannot love what it despises. <laughs> it's, it's in disagreement with God's yeah. will. It's, it's, it's like yin and yang. Mm. It's like oil and vinegar, oil and water. Oil and water, like yeah. They, they, they're, they're, they're separate and they can't come together. It's got to be one or the other. Mm. And you know, in, in very few I'm saying the definition of uh, my understanding of righteousness is right standing with God. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? You, you're in a right standing with God. Yeah, that's righteousness. Yeah, not the false humility ones that we call from religious people. Yeah. We're, we're talking right standing with God. 
And because you're the right stand of God, the world hates you. Yeah. And you know why? Because you have, you have an air about you. Mm -hmm. You have a disposition that is an understanding of who you are and where you stand. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to fit in to exist because your existence has been predestined and you you just existing. So you don't have to fit in hmm. because you're already in. You, you're engrafted into the true vine. So you can't exist in this world and fit in. You can't, in my fact, what you're saying is that you don't even want to fit into the world system. But you, you want to fit into you're, you're, God's you're, kingdom. You're connected to the kingdom. You you are engrafted mm. into an entire different realm of Ooh. existence. And the world hates you because you're not in their system. You're There's not a you're, world you're, system. Your, your existence does not rely mm. upon theirs. Your your Ooh, your existence is not dictated by come on, brother. theirs is dictated by yeah yeah you're you're, you're <laughs> man when you grab this Ooh, <laughs> you think about yeah 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 your 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 life source is not the same. Your, your authority and power does not mm. come from this world. Come on now. Or this world system. Your ability to move and have your being in this world is, is, is not in control by this world. And, and your decisions should not be made to, to fulfill the wills of this world. Like you told Peter, right? You, yes. you, you're mindful of the things of man. Yes. Not of God. Not of God. Who? You can see the difference too. You can see the difference. You can see the Wait. difference in a person. I mean, the, the way a person exists mm -hmm. who, is, who is not fearful of life itself. Mm -hmm. wow. But embraces the life that has been given to him. Man, tell you, it, it is a power that cannot be denied. It is an yeah. authority that yeah. speaks without making a, a, a word. Come on, bro. And the thing about it without is, without a sound, it, it screams victory. It's great. In my fact, it also speaks of the fact is, one is love, one is hate. Yeah. If you have to discriminate. If you have to put obstacles, if you have to have a problem with somebody's success, or in this case, you call it blessings. And if you try to do that, if you have a problem with somebody else's blessing, that you start to hate and resent that person, then you're not, you're not operating in the kingdom of God, you're operating in the kingdom of this world. And Cain had a problem with somebody blessing that had nothing technically to do, you know, where Cain Abel won't do another to him at all, right? Abel was just trying to focus on pleasing God or doing God's will. You had a problem, Cain, of doing God's will, and your stuff was rejected. Got it. He told you what to do. If you do well, what? <laughs> you 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 will not be, you will be accepted. He said that. But yet, next thing you know, he want to go kill his brother. Yeah, right after that. <laughs> he wanted to kill. He wanted to kill his brother. See now that, How that, many... that, that what you what you really have to understand is he received more 
of the Word of God. He you had, see, yeah. he had the Word of God, and yeah. then received more, and rejected that too. So he wow. rejected God on every front. He rejected God's will when he brought him a a a, a sacrifice that was unbefitting. That yeah. was not a part of his will. And then he rejected God when God said, you know, if you do good, mm. if you do well, will not your offering be accepted? Mm. You know, and then he went out and, and, and in the rejection of this this correction, which mm. this word does. It gives, it corrects us, and it puts us on the right path. Yeah. If you accept it, then you do that. But if you don't, evil is lurking at the door. Wow. And it, it grabs hold. And if you accept that, then you walk out death. You, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh man. I mean, this, this was him rejecting the word of God on every account. And, and, and the thing I say about this is, so those people that <clears throat> did the atrocity from the slave trade, because <laughs> you know when they did it, it people, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, it's, 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 some elements of that is present today. If, if you just open your eyes and see it. But based on the action of those people they did, the adultery came in. Because I guess I guess you can't I guess you you, you guilt if you rape somebody, right? <laughs> uh, doing that trading, doing that transatlantic thing, they they raped them. So there's adultery or fornication, whichever one you want to call it. You killed someone. You see, what I'm saying, in other words, all the elements of the commandment, ten commandments, mm -hmm. were played out in that portion of love that neighbor. Your parents, you not your parents, your great great, you know your ancestors. Yeah. Oh yeah. They they were raped. They were killed. They were lied to. <laughs> they were and you lie and <laughs> it's they all you know, I don't think anybody can can disagree that all the commandments were violated. Not just the what to call it, a trade, right? This mm -hmm. this thing called a trade, this this or business. In that business, all the gross darkness was part of it. In the lynching and everything else, that's all these are things going against the will of God. Right? They're all going against the will of God. So we'll put back up here again. So verse three, you say what? Mom, you already said three, right? Mom and not, my brother, if the world hates you. For yeah. what? 14. Before we know that we have passed from death unto life. Because mm -hmm. we love the brethren. Wow. Woo. He that loveth not his brother abideth Woo. in death. What? I mean, here we're going right back to Cain. It says, so whoever hated his brother is a murderer. Cain. Yeah. And ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. So no. there is, there is yeah. no form of godliness in that individual. And yet we, you know what, people, there's people, you remember we talked about it a uh, week, a week for last, a week after that. These people did postcards of atrocity, you know. They sent them to their family. <laughs> Is that what? How demonic, demonic was that? How, can you tell me? Can maybe you help me out? Huh? 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 How do you? Like I said, uh, that's just demonic. How, yeah. How do you put up? You know, you you can't do that. I mean, the scriptures right here saying that God does not exist in that individual. That that performs those acts, mm -hmm. uh, at least at that particular time. Yeah, 
you yeah. know. Uh, if they repented, that's a different story, but if they died in that. You know, how many times can you do a thing? I know it. And then repent of it and then go back and do it again. In this case, we know they did repent. Are, are you really repenting? I because know. To me, true repentance mm, mm, mm. is a revelation of God's word for a particular turning away. And and, and that's a danger that we, we, you know, what we need to, what we want to point out is, people, we're talking about your eternal life. Let alone, we're talking about, if you do as will, we're talking about abundant living here, right? The Christ came, it's the thief that comes to steal. Mm -hmm. This is John 10, 10. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Now, if you partake, if you partake in any of the killing, the stealing, what's the other one? Come to steal and destroy. Destroy. If you if you in these areas, that's all we're trying to. Does you agree with me? I'm trying to say. I'm trying to tell you if you are in the thief pattern of behavior, where you want to destroy people's lives. Where you want to steal people, you, you not only you stole people from from the what from Africa, right? yeah, from their land, you, from the land you stole and their lives, out. their existence. And, and we trying to say it's not just people from Europe. We talking about everybody that was part of it. Yeah. It was it was not Europeans only. It's not European only. So we just make sure you understand that. We just saying this that the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. And if you operate in it, because there's any justification to do these things that you're aware of? Not there's no godly justification. There's no godly justification. And that's all we're trying to say. If you operate in these areas, then you are part of the gross darkness. <laughs> You're part of the darkness. And he's saying is, I'm concerned about not only what's happened here, but your eternal soul. Is that fair to say? Yeah. It's this, your, your eternal life <laughs> and your children's eternal life that I'm more concerned with. You can sit there and have the best house. You can sit there and go to Yale, Harvard, whatever you want to go to. But what's that scripture? What profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? We, <coughs> I mean, we need to understand, we're talking about this whole thing. Because how long are you going to live here? <coughs> it's a vapor, right? It's a a life. Vapor, a, the life of a vapor. It's, it's, it's just a vapor. A here. lifetime of a vapor. Yeah, ooh. That, hey, that, that's a message by itself. <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. The lifetime. We're talking about a smidgen of eternity. Of existence. Of, of, of self-awareness. Of self-awareness and then judgment. Why? That's the concern. Why put your eternal soul in jeopardy? This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.